We're going to make, create an algamate mold so I can make a plaster cast of my hand. And here are some of the ingredients. You're supposed to have equal parts algamate to uh, water, equal parts. And I could not find any cups or containers that were the same size, so I had to use all these little cups. As you see, we have the form here. I taped it to the bottom of a piece of cardboard so the plaster or algamate wouldn't leak out. It's very important to follow the directions and do the equal parts of water to algamate because on the second one, I did it quickly just guessing and eyeballing the materials, the water in the, in the algamate, and it didn't work. And I ruined a whole pack of algamate at, and at $30 a pack, it can be an expensive mistake. Before you mix it, this um, algamet up, you want to have a little coat of petroleum jelly on the hand that you're going to be dipping. Just because you might forget later, just go ahead and put it on while you can. Now is also the time to add a release agent to the cylinder so you can slide the algamet mold right out. Um, I just use olive oil and spray it in there real good on the sides and the bottom. Now we mix up the algamate. Mix it up in a different container and then you're going to pour it into the cylinder. So it, it's pink at first, but then it starts turning white as it dries. So I pour it in the cylinder. And then after I poured it into the cylinder, I put my Vaseline hand into it. And because I didn't have I couldn't work the camera as I did this. I'm inserting a few photos of examples of putting your hand in. Also, it can be used for babies, for baby footprints or baby hands. You just have to hold them and make sure they stay make sure they stay still. You can also cast other body parts like this guy's casting a face and other body parts you can cast. Just make sure there's Vaseline on the surface. Okay, so I'm back the next day and we're going to take off, take off the, um, alga, the duct tape and then see how this plaster casting came out. Now next time I wanna do another casting with this, I'll have to duct tape it again. Actually, I'm gonna say This might be a little bit difficult. I might have to slice it. Hmm. Okay, back. We're going to try to slice this. And we're going to really have to mend, to mend this slice when we want to do another one. We're going to have to slice it down here too. This is scary because I really want to use this mold again. Ooh, I see veins. Awesome. I wanted to get those rings in there too. Cool. Ooh, it kind of cut off. It kind of cut off the hands at the bottom. I don't like that. Hmm. So here is the cast. You can see veins and everything. But something happened to the fingers. Okay, we're gonna do better next time. Okay, here we are. We're doing the second plaster molding of the same hand. This is how the first one came out. I think it's beautiful. It's gonna be beautiful. Um, the fingers were a little weird, but um, I'll have to. I was planning on adding metal and stuff and making them kind of trans. Uh, Frankensteinish, anyway, so we'll see. The second one, I had to pretty much cut the thing all the way up to there to get the hand out, so and slice it up the side. So I've duct taped it several times, so I don't think it'll leak, especially if the plaster sets up a little bit before I um, do the second casting. But I'm going to, I'm planning to do like seven of them, maybe not all today, but. That's what we're going to do today. And we're also going to make another 
alchemate mold, but this time I'm going to make the tube a lot smaller. It only came up to about there, and if I make it smaller, it'll come up a little higher, and that's what I want it to do.